Hi, and welcome to the TMC Newsroom. I'm Kelly McGuire with today's top stories. As green technology continues on the up and up, bigger name companies are becoming increasingly interested in this evolving market. One of these companies, internet mogul Google, has reportedly developed a new mirror technology that for solar, ther for solar thermal plant developers could potentially cut building costs in half. According to reports at CNBC, Google's Bill Way said that if all goes well with testing, the product could potentially be ready in three years. What makes this product so unique is its unusual material makeup, which allows the sun to reflect off a surface, causing it to heat, thus producing steam to run the turbine. With Google's new invention, the mirror focuses on the sun's rays on the heated surface. This rumor, this rumor comes around the time when the internet mogul has been investing in companies in the renewable energy market, while doing its own research part in efforts to be more progressive in the movement. I guess we'll have to wait until 2013 to see when the new technology hits the mainstream market. First, it was just Facebook and Twitter at home, or like it was for me, in between classes or when I needed a mini break from work. Don't tell anybody. Social media, blogging, tweeting, and online video is taking a stronghold in educational environments now, the corporate world, and everywhere in between. And now, politics. According to reports, the U.S. Department of Defense and the Pentagon have approved the use of social networking and other interactive Web 2.0 applications. On Friday, February 26th, a memorandum was released making an official policy on the use of these Internet-based applications across all defense components, including combat branches. However, while the announcement does wonders for the evolution of political operations, the Pentagon still expects those in duty to refrain from activities that could compromise military actions or undercut readiness. Some of the iPhones toted by youths across America today may have actually been created by younger youths in less developed parts of the world for much less pay and in harsher working conditions. Apple Incorporated announced the discovery of three of its suppliers hired underage workers to help build its market-leading iPhones, iPods, and Mac computers last year. In an on-site audit of 102 factories in China, Taiwan, Thailand, Malaysia, and other countries, as well as the United States, it was reportedly discovered that three facilities hired workers as young as 15, 60 sites overworked employees, 24 sites paid less than minimum wage, and 57 did not offer required health benefits like maternity leave. And to make matters worse, some factories reportedly cut workers' wages for disciplinary purposes. Though Apple would not name the violating suppliers, the computing powerhouse said it found three cases where suppliers falsified records to conceal their underage workers. Apple said in its reports that its auditors found all records of 11 workers who had been hired prior to reaching the legal age, although the workers were no longer underage or no longer active employ employers at the time of the audit. The legal age in the facility's countries is 16, according to Apple's reports. That's all for today. For more information, visit www.tmcnet.com. I'm Kelly McGuire with the TMC Newsroom, and until next time, thanks for watching.